So the, the whole way I found this, what happened was he emails me, just hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. He, he emailed, his wife emailed me, right, and said, hey, my husband's a huge fan of your YouTube channel. He watches your program every day. And she said, how much does it cost to get you for his birthday, right? Now, I do that, okay? I do a lot of paid gigs, right? And uh, so, so I said, look, because I've got a website, archieluxury.com where I actually say that I'm available for international appearances, movie roles, all sorts of things. It was, it was sort of done tongue in cheek as a bit of a, a laugh. But if someone takes it seriously, hey, I'm a professional, you know? So, so I said, look, I said, whereabouts in the world are you? She said, she's in Jakarta, the capital of Indonesia. I said, look, let me check the prices. What dates do you want? And I, I, I checked, because I got to fit in with the kids, you know, because otherwise someone's gonna look after the kids. So, so I found a, a small gap and I said, look, it's gonna be tight, but I can do it, which I think is perfect because they only, you know, they, they don't wanna see you there forever. You, you know, friends are like guests and friends are like fish. After three days, they stink, right? So I said, look, I need 1200 bucks, ticket to Indonesia, Singapore Airlines. I said, I need 12, it was $1,216. I said, I need 1200 bucks and I'll buy the ticket. They come back and she put 1200 US into my account. I thought, hey, this is good. Cause, Cause that'll pay for a taxi to the airport and a few incidentals, right? So that's looking good. Cause she said to me, as soon as I give her the ticket details, she will um, book a hotel for me, right? So after then, then what happens is, her assistant contacts me. Hello, I'm so and so. I'm an assistant for Mrs. Mrs. X Y Z. Um, I see you've bought a ticket. We've booked you into the Grand Hyatt. And she goes, "We'll be picking you up. Don't worry, we'll be picking you up." I thought, okay, these are just you know normal people. I get to the airport. There's a brand new Mercedes limousine waiting. Four week old limousine. Uh, a driver and an assistant and I thought okay so this is looking good so so then what happens is I, I mean I, I hadn't really googled him I don't really google anyone all, all I care about is my free airline ticket you understand that I don't give a fuck how rich or poor you are if you give me a ticket I will travel I love travel you know you know me and then it kind of everything's paid for that they check me in that's fine that's great so then I, he, she goes, oh, Mr. So-and-so is a very, very busy man, but he wants to see you for lunch tomorrow. It's his birthday. So I go there and it's, it's in a restaurant and it's a private room. So, they, so it's just you and him, you know, it's just very, very private. And then he, he, he just comes in as a normal guy. I mean, he's just a ch young Chinese, um, businessman you, you know what I mean I mean he doesn't he doesn't look like he doesn't have a billionaire tattooed on his forehead he just yeah yeah how you going it's all cool yeah yeah it's all cool and uh, I mean he had some really expensive he, he's, he's into watches he had some really expensive watches but that doesn't impress me because I've got expensive watches and I've got the ass out of my pants you, you know I mean I, I, I I've got you know, I can have a $100,000 watch on my wrist, and so what? I just, that's my whole life being, you know? I've tapped out three credit cards and a personal loan, and and um, they, they were incredibly kind to me, you know? He, he just, absolutely, I started to think he was rich. He goes, oh, here's, he just gives me an envelope, and here's some money for incidentals. And it has like a like like I had the equivalent it had ten million rupee, which is a thousand Aussie. But do you give someone a thousand Aussie if they're you've paid for the ticket, the car, you know, all the food's paid for? What do I need? The money is kind of okay, okay. Thank you very much, sir. You just bow and say thank you very much, sir. And um, 
his his lieutenant. He's very busy. This is the this is sort of what makes you realise how rich he is. His lieutenant took me out the, on that night, and uh, we went out for dinner, and it was all cool. Just just amazing. You know, you, you know what I mean. Just amazing. And the thing is, he's a really cool guy. He's really nice, really friendly, really humble. He sort of, he's made his money himself. His parents are loaded as well, okay? I can't lie and say they're not. And he went to the best universities in the world, plural. But he's incredibly sharp, incredibly focused. He's, um, he's actually a lovely guy, you know? I mean, I don't really care how much money someone's got. I've met a lot of rich people who are fucking awful. You, you know what I mean? They're just awful shitters. And um, he, he's actually, he's actually really nice. And it was sort of dawned on me how rich they are when the police, when you're driving along, the police salute the car. You know, it's sort of, you think, oh fuck, this is, uh, you know, it, they're, they're very, very, Yeah. We specialize here in pre-owned Rolex watches. Rolex watch is a very special timepiece and we always do the servicing exactly as factory specifications. We buy a pre-owned piece and we put it into brand new condition. We have Rolex certified technicians working on that. We completely disassemble the piece, we adjust and polish and change every single part of the watch. You have to have certified watchmakers that know what they're doing. If you have an expensive car, you're just not gonna bring it to any mechanic that doesn't know what they're doing. You spent $5,000, it's like if you put money in the safe deposit box. And one or two years from now, you will keep having your $5,000. We have to spend a lot of money to get all this equipment together, but makes me feel I doing what I supposed to do. It's not a question of money, it's my passion. Jewelers on time, simply the best. The most spooky thing is, is when he goes, he goes, oh, would you mind if I have a photo taken with you? And, and I, I didn't have the guts to say to him, actually, I'd like one of you as well. I, I just kind of thought, you know, you've got to respect his privacy because he, he really, he puts a lot of trust in seeing you. Like so many people, they come there and they beg for shit and that they, you know, I suppose he's sick of every bastard giving him a sob story, you know, so I kind of, I kind of thought, look, I won't, I won't ask you, I really wanted to ask him for a photo. He took a photo of me and him together, and I'd really like to ask him, hey, can you send it to me? But it's probably not, you got to respect his privacy. See, I didn't take any photos of him at all. I do, do not have a photo. I said, look, just out of respect. You know, I, I don't, I don't need that. You know, I, I don't want him to feel, yeah, you know, he, 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 he's done a lot for me. I mean, he spent, he spent a fucking fortune, you know, that they probably spent, you know, 10, 15,000 having me go there. You know, the hotel, it's just amazing. Yeah, but, but he's a really nice guy. It's, it's not so much that he's just rich, he's just, He's just you, just, you just talk to him about normal things in life. You know, I was talking to him how we had, I had some family problems with my old man and how he got divorced and how he got resold and this and that. And, you know, he kind of, yeah, yeah, he just, you know, you just, just talk to him normally. He just, he's, um, he's, he's a normal sort of guy, but um, I think you just got to respect their privacy. That's what they want. And you, you, you got to be loyal to them too. You know, they don't want, they don't want you, you know, because because they sort of open. I mean, who gives a shit if I do something silly? You think, oh, you're just a pisshead, or who cares? But if a, if a billionaire does something silly, the paparazzi, everyone's going to jump on it. Oh, look at this idiot! You, you know what I mean? It sort of haunts them, you know. So you got to just be aware of that, you know. But man, it was the experience of a lifetime. It's life changing. It's cha it, it is. It is.